Which is more powerful, do you think, friendship or love? Friendship. I mean, I actually, I, I think friendship and love are exactly the same thing. How do you mean? Well, obviously, sex is not love. I mean, it's a temporary situation, isn't it? I mean, sex can lead to love, obviously, but, but friendship, real friendship, in, in, inevitably leads to love. There can't be any friendship uh, unless it's a, a, a love, real friendship. But then one doesn't have that many friends in a lifetime. But if friendship leads to love, must it also, does it normally lead to sex, too? No. Friendship lead to sex? No, friendship, once it's gone to love, <laughs> it ought to. In a, in, a, in a perfect world, it would. But the, uh, no, I mean, when friendship has gone to love, does it always lead to sex? Friendship has gone to love, no. You don't seem to have a very high opinion of sex, do you, really? Well, that's not true either. But, I mean, I just don't, don't see what in what connection this really falls, because, you see, I don't think that sex has anything to do with friendship. I think that it's very difficult to have a sort of sexual relationship with somebody who actually is a friend. What is love? Love is a feeling, isn't it? What sort of feeling? Oh. Uh, well, there is sexual love. I think sexual love is, is usually the best introduction to love. But I do think uh, there is something beyond it. How often have you felt that purification of love? How often have you gone beyond that? I, I've never enumerated the times. I've never lived without feeling love, though. Really? Yeah. I'm talking too intimately to you. Let's get on to something. <laughs> Let's get on to something more general. <laughs>